Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Here, where we mix and match so many different genes and see where science will take us. And today, we are here to celebrate the Arctic Pack in Planet Zoo, which by now you guys know I am completely in love with, because ever since the game has come out, we have had daily episodes of Planet Zoo, with so many more planned for the future. Oh, just imagine, herds of giraffes roaming across a vast savannah. Savannas. It's going to be amazing. But if you guys haven't checked that out, definitely do check out Planet Zoo. We just started a brand new Ice Ice Outpost with the Arctic animals that have been added into the very first DLC pack for it. And that made me want to jump into our lab and have some Arctic animals of our own for crossbreeding challenges. So, my friends, let me present to you the doll sheep, which is a type of sheep that is is in the arctic pack that we'll talk about in just a moment and the arctic wolf i'm very excited to have both of them with us because i happen to know that wolves are very popular amongst our populace of pixel biologists and they're beautiful they are stunningly gorgeous animals and if you've ever really wanted to work with a example a game that really gives you insight into just how beautiful these creatures we share our natural world with are planet zoo definitely does that and and it made me so excited and fall so in love with the Arctic wolves as I watched them roam through the snows of Ice Ice Outpost, as you guys will see soon in a couple days here with those episodes. But basically, I'm totally in love, and that is why I decided to add in Ash, the Arctic wolf who has roamed down from his native home up to the very far north of Canada and Greenland, where he lives to the northeast, roaming across the snowy tundra, eating many, many Arctic hares when he is very young, and then eventually graduating up into larger prey that he hunts with his pack. And Ash here has become a dispersal wolf, a young male in search of new prey, new territory, perhaps a pack of his own. And in his wanderings, he ended up bumbling into a mountain range in the middle of a blizzard. And what do you find in the mountain ranges of far, far North America along the tundras and the taiga biomes? Well, my friends, you find sheep! You find a subspecies of sheep known as the doll sheep, which I had seen pictures of before because they look a lot like a bighorn sheep, but they live out in much more rugged and windswept areas where the mountainsides really don't grow a lot of plants and they really don't keep a lot of snow either because the wind is so powerful there. And I had never known that what I was looking at wasn't a bighorn sheep, but those were doll sheep. So definitely look up doll sheep because those big, beautiful horns the males have are very impressive. And the females also have their own little horns as well. So Peachy here actually has bigger horns than normal for a female doll sheep, but she uses those horns in order to defend the past because she is one of the sheep that protects the flock. And there have been documented cases of doll sheep protecting themselves from one of their predators, the Arctic wolf and the timber wolves, by literally knocking the wolves off of cliff sides. So imagine that somewhere in the world, in the windswept tundra, as the snow swirls down around them and two creatures fight for their life, we actually have sheep knocking wolves off of cliffs and wolves possibly scrambling their way back down and searching for easier prey, I hope. It's just such a dramatic story that I had no idea happened in our world. And I'm very happy to share with all of you so that now you know that it happens in our world too. But with Peachy here, we're going to add a bit of a twist to that tale. Because Peachy defends an excellent meadow high up in the mountains, where the wind is kept at bay enough for plants to be able to grow and give her flock plenty to eat. And she is in charge of protecting the one entrance into that special mountain valley. And following the sense of possible food, Ash, the Arctic wolf, bumbles through the mountain range, slipping here and there due to the blizzard that blinded his eyes for a time, and he finds himself standing on a cliffside, confronting Peachy. And she is determined that no one shall pass. And as she lowers her head and prepares to butt Ash off into the abyss, well, 
I think she slips on the ice and collides into him. And the two of them spin into a little cave in this blizzard and they end up facing off against each other. At first it is predator and prey as Ash tries to scramble to get his feet back under himself. Maybe thinks for a second at least he could have a meal. But before he knows it, Peachy is butting him against the walls, crashing around the cave and proving her excellent strength and power. And it is in that moment that Ash realizes he simply cannot eat, eat Peachy. She is simply not only almost his size, but also strong and full of will and life. And there, at the beginning, is where we shall begin our love story. And now have some sort of weird Arctic wolf doll sheep crossbreeds that will protect the small meadow up in the mountains. Whew. All right, we got the love story down, guys literally just thought of that as we spoke so that was kind of fun but let's go ahead and give them a little litter so now that spring has rolled around again and peachy can enjoy snacking on all of the flowers she wants as ash now helps to defend the entrance to their canyon and roams far afield in order to protect them and to look for food that doesn't happen to live in their special meadow we're going to celebrate the lambing birth time so the time of lambs is upon us and let's see if some of you guys will actually end up being these little crossbreeds. Oh gosh, they're gonna be so fun. So these guys have a chance to inherit their mother's horns and hooves, but otherwise will just be a complete mishmash of whatever they're going to become. And as usual, if you would like to become... <gasps> oh! We didn't end up with a... Okay, I think we should try to end up with some white ones because like both of them are... are well, you know, doll sheep can sometimes be brown. All right, we'll roll with this. We'll roll with this. But if you guys would like to end up becoming one of their crossbreed babies, all you need to do is leave a comment down below and the random comment picker may select you for the future. So we actually have little Ocean here from Ocean the Australian Shepherd. Welcome Ocean. It's going to be very exciting to see if you grow up to be a wolf or a sheep. You have a lot of options ahead of you. And Ocean is a aggressive, playful troublemaker. So Ocean sounds perfect for running around in this meadow and just wreaking havoc. So there we go. That's exciting. We'll keep an eye out because I think some of them are probably supposed to end up being little white puppies. <gasps> like this one! Oh, look at how cute little Lana, Lana is! So we have little Lana, and she is from Alexis. Thank you so much for your kind comments, and I'm so glad you're enjoying our adventures in the Labarcatory. And she is adventurous and vocal and a sleuth. Oh my gosh, she sounds perfect to investigate the meadow mountainsides. That just sounds fantastic. And then let's come over and pull another baby forward. <gasps> look at you, little cutie. You look like your mom. You can tell the difference between because the ones who inherit the white fur from their, or wool, pardon me, from their mom will actually have a little spot under their nose. So this is actually going to be Rose. And Rose, a crossbreed between an ender dragon and a cow, sounds fantastic. We are not done with our ender dragon crossbreeds, but I definitely want to celebrate with some arctic animals for now. All right, and Rose, you are jumpy and a sleuth and active. So somebody who probably can scale the cliff sides like the sheep can very excellently. All right, and then let's go ahead and we'll see the next one. Another, oh, with little demon eyes. It's been a long time since we've had any demon eyes. But this one also inherited Peachy's wool. And this one's going to be Galaxy. So Galaxy, a red panda and a koala sounds amazing. I'm not sure if I could make a koala in Sims 4, but I'm pretty sure somebody on the gallery would have something that looks pretty koala-esque. So I will add that to the list. Thank you very much. And Galaxy, you are actually adventurous, hairy, and playful. So it sounds like with the hairiness, you have plenty of wool to share. And then let's go ahead and we will add in another little baby another little lamb okay you know this one i think we're gonna go ahead and randomize again i think oh there we go 
I do think we want to stick mostly with like the white furs just to really represent what I think these little ones would look like. And this is going to be Alex. So welcome, Alex. And yes, beep beep, I'm a sheep indeed. Now you literally are a sheep. That is really ironic that you actually left a comment saying beep beep, I'm a sheep. And now you're literally a sheep. <laughs> Alex, you are loyal, a sleuth, and aggressive. So I think you inherited quite a bit of the wolf background too. And then let's pop over here and let's go ahead and see Ash and Peachy. Oh, there we go. Another demon eyed, woolly little child that we are going to be naming Static from Static the Shiny Drexult. And Static, I think a dragon and an Eevee or a dragon and a Pichu would be really fun. We might have to, oh, maybe we could modify like a dragon air. Oh, that'd be so fun. We have so many more experiments ahead of us, friends. So be sure that you leave some comments so that you could become one of the experiments in our laboratory. Oh, look at that, and Static, you actually produce wool, and you're aggressive, and you're playful. It's all of the best traits of your parents combined. But all right, my friends, now that Ash and Peachy are watching over their little lambs who are frolicking in the little mountain meadow that they call home, let's go ahead and grow them up and see what everybody is going to look like. And I shall roll the dice of destiny. Whoop, come back here, dice of destiny, to see what they will inherit. So, Ocean, the time has come. You have frolicked, you have played. Now you shall grow from lamb into either a wolf or a sheep. What will it be? Da -na 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 -na. <gasps> oh my gosh, he is so fluffy! He is the fluffiest wolf ever! So Ocean actually takes after his father. He is not going to inherit the horns or the hooves. So oh, he really is amazingly fluffy. I love that. I love that. So he is actually going to be a sort of darker brown wolf who will help to protect the meadow that his family lives in. And meanwhile, Lana here, let's go ahead and roll the dice of destiny. And what will Lana grow up to be? Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Lana, your face! How did we get this face? I have no idea how we got this face, but I love her. Oh my gosh. So we have Lana. Let's go ahead and fix her tail. She's just gonna have normal tail. There we go. And Lana actually inherited the horns from her mother. So she will be able to ram at anything that wants to come and mess with her family. She is not afraid to use them. All right, so we're gonna want, there we go. These horns, I love her face. I love her gigantic fluffy ears, her fluffy body, and her tiny little feet, which actually do not have dainty little hooves attached to them. Lana, you're adorable. Oh my gosh. I didn't think we'd get such cuties from that. That's really fun. Then we have Rose who I have rolled the dice of destiny for. Rose is our jumpy sleuth who is very active. So will she be bounding across the uh, the terrain as a little sheep or as a wolf? <gasps> oh, sorry, very loud gasp. I'm just so excited because Rose ended up with that face too. How did we get these faces? I don't know how we got these faces, but I am a thousand percent content with this. <laughs> All right, guys, look at that muzzle. Like, what is going on with this muzzle? I don't even know. All the better to eat grass with, though. Lana did not inherit the horns, but she did inherit the hooves, which I think is fantastic for her because she is going to be able to bound up and down the cliff sides even easier now that she has got these hooves to help her get her grip on those rocks. I have rolled the dice of destiny, and let's go ahead and see what galaxy is growing to grow up into. Okay. What is with these faces? I am so tickled by them. And these animals are just so fluffy. Look at the wool on this guy. Like you could probably make an entire bed like out of his wool. This is amazing. And Galaxy here actually has grown up not with any horns. So I'm not exactly sure what he eats, but he has grown up with hooves as well, which I love to imagine lets him traverse the area that is full of cliffs and craggy rocks easier than his half wolf brethren. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be pretty fun. I love this. Look at them. I mean, look at these faces. Look at this fluff. This is fantastic. And then finally, we or not finally, we have little Alex. <gasps> Alex. 
how did we end up with such a great variety of faces, you guys? This is fantastic. And little Alex actually looks more like a polar bear than a wolf or a, uh, a doll sheep. But Alex has inherited the horns. So Alex will have the little horns. There we go. But she does not have the hooves. So I think she's probably going to spend more time with her wolf brethren. I could totally see her trotting alongside them while they go hunting and like just sort of defending different areas and looking for like really good grass. Like her hunting is searching for a new flower to eat, which I think is adorable. But Alex is doing good. And then we have Static, who does produce wool, is aggressive and playful and Oh, oh. <gasps> wow, has a very unique face. I love how every single one of these children ended up with like really unique facial expressions. This is fantastic. <laughs> but Static is actually a wolf, my friends. People may think he is, is something else for sure, but he is actually a wolf all the way. He has like, other than the fact that he produces wool, he is a wooly wolf, which is amazing. And uh, he, does not have any horns or any hooves. So he is going to go out and help his somewhat concerned over like, well, this is what my kids look like, Father Ash on the hunt. And really, if I saw Static coming for me, I would I would panic and probably end up getting caught. So I, I think his appearance is going to help out. <laughs> But all right, guys, with this beautiful mix of babies, we have now begun the first of our Arctic experiments to celebrate the Arctic pack in Planet Zoo. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures and experiments where you never know what the results may be, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!